I am an optimist by nature, where I think most politicians in Washington are pessimists. They see what they have, and the glass is always half empty, and they're trying to figure out how to get more and more of that glass. But I'm not just an optimist, I'm an American optimist. So I don't just look at my glass being half full, I'm trying to figure out ways to fill it up and make it overflow so I can get everybody else a drink. John F. Kennedy said a rising tide floats all boats. We get America to work, and we can do that right now. There are ways that we could put America to work that wouldn't cost the taxpayer any money, and to do it cleanly and correctly. There's no reason that we can't do it. American architects, engineers, and contractors are as good as any in the world. They can do the job. The biggest issue right now in America is just getting government out of the way for them. A government should be like a good referee in, a, in an athletic event. They don't determine the outcome of who's going to win or lose. They should make sure that everybody knows the rules and everybody plays fair, and then allow the, the teams to play. Because Americans are incredibly industrious and creative. If you get out of their way, you give them half a chance. The housing industry is trying to bounce back right now. Even though Congress has, has made one bad ruling and one, one bad piece of legislation right after the next, they have stalled out our recovery much more than it should have been. Because they don't understand what they're doing. Because they won't admit that the original problem was created by a handful of politicians who went to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and said, hey, make more loans to more people that can't afford it. Or was it 1995, that community reinvestment, some kind of act, I apologize, I don't know the ex exact name. And then Wall Street, by bundling good loans with bad loans, so you couldn't tell that they were bad in there, gave it blanks, let it take off. They created the entire situation, but they won't admit that. We have, right now, the opportunity to make a decision on where we want to go with the rest of, with the rest of our future. America, in the last 300 years, has done more, created more, invented more, accomplished more than all of the other civilizations in the history of the world combined. And we have a choice right now. We can either decide that we want to go a socialist European style government, which we can stand up in there and watch Europe, watch them just go bankrupt, which is where we'll go on the same, if you're driving on the same road, you're going to end up in the same place and end up just bankrupt in mediocrity and end up in the history books as a once great civilization, like Rome and Greece and some of the others. Or we have the opportunity to put ourselves back on track by opening up the energy industry, getting housing back on track, getting small businesses working again, getting America going in a positive direction, getting industry back into our country again. So America once again, once again becomes the land of opportunity, the place to be. And can you imagine, with what we've created and developed up to this point, can you imagine what we could possibly do in the next 300 years? That's the America that I want my kids to grow up in, my grandkids to grow up in. At the same time, as these jobs, we get jobs, then we also get more, we get, we get less entitlements, more people working off welfare and unemployment checks, on payroll checks, then we go after the deficit. I would love to represent. Thank you.